Boy 313 and welcome to the bonus pre or epilogue or whatever you want to call it. Well, the first bonus episode of Pokemon Snakewood. Now that basically the Let's Play is over, I'm going to try and cover as much of the extra little bits that I said I would cover that I basically just missed out in the in the main Let's Play. And now as a quick pointer, I, w I am uploading like other random series like Fable Anniversary and various different Minecraft series like I am starting my own 1.8 Survival Island but a point I'd like to make is that I will be starting another Pokemon ROM hack relatively soonish I'm, I just haven't decided on which one I want to play yet and I have realised that Pokemon is probably the other Pokemon ROM hacks are probably the series that get get any of the views on my channel, if there are any, they come from the Pokemon ROM hacks. So I will be starting a let's play of a new, well it might not be a new one, it might have been out a while, but I will be starting a new series of a different ROM hack is what I'm trying to say. But after that's over, said and done, in this, f oh and, an and another point, um, these bonus episodes, they're probably going to be like just short snippets, because I want to well, just because there's, I think there's lots of little separate bits that I can cover that I don't want to do all in one. So to start things off, we are here in Lily Cove City and I did not mean to go inside of here. But for the first little sort of extra bit, if we head over to the, I believe it's the uh, Lily Cove Museum, I thought it was going to be the Oceanic Museum or the Oceanic Museum, but evidently not. If we head here inside the museum... And speak to this statue. Gra! Ha! Who are you? Who trespasses here? Who are you? I am Barkesh. I am a living god. You're that man the guys at the monastery worship. The one who doesn't look like a man. I look like a man, puny mortal. Now prepare to die. Wait. Hey, get out of here, Barkesh. Oh no, my arch enemy. Professor Slokabooten, I must flee! Tori, we don't have much time. Uh, what? We have to leave! What? May and I are getting ready to ascend to a higher plane of existence, Jonathan Livingstone Seagull style. Come close and we'll tell you the secrets of your past. Oh, damn it, what the hell was all that about? Yo! What the hell is going on here? It's me! Oh, it's me! Meteor's daughter, the Psychic Egg. The very same one that we gave back to Meteor. What do you want? I have the resolution to the ongoing quest for your past. Straight from the Cutlerine himself. What? Tell me. The truth is, your past doesn't matter. This memory loss is a chance for a new start. Whatever your old life was. Whatever you had before. Whatever you were in that past life, it's gone and it's never coming back. So just forget about the past, lose your purpose and get on with your life. What? I mean, what? What kind of ridiculous moral to the story is that? Come to think of it, what sort of ending is that? Okay, I have to sort this out with the cutlerine. Sometime later. I see, that was a very enlightening talk. I had never seen my world in that way before. This was all just being made up as we go along, isn't it? There was no plan, no overarching plot. This is what real life is. Confusing, stupid, maddening, and when it comes down to it, without any discernible meaning. My god, I've discovered the truth about life. I guess all that's left to remains for me to do is to say goodbye. Face in the sky has been a blast, but I don't need you anymore and I'm going to ascend. No. What? No. Hey, Skyface, you can't stop me. Yes, I can. And I will. I'm the one playing this game, not you. I can do what I want, and I say you're going nowhere. Gah, fine, I'll stay. But you remember, this means... This means there's no resolution. There's no resolution anyway. This is why I love this game. It's so fantastically stupid. Plus, the Cutlerine's just a genius and really amazingly handsome. Did I mention how big a genius he is? 
Yes, he is awe-inspiring. <sighs> Fine, let's go do what you want to do. Let's go, Skyface. Yes, wasn't that a fantastic rev revolution? Resolution to everything you ever wanted to learn. So, um, yes, it was a very brief short one this time. And also another point, you can head up here and damn a crate. For some reason you're physically incapable of destroying it. To destroy this crate, you need a Pokemon that knows Explosion. And when you do, it gives you a chance to battle a... Battle a Lucasamon, you know that um, ice dragon that the Senex had, and also battle a trainer who has ridiculously powerful Pokemon, like I think it's a team of level 100s. So thank you for watching. Um, I nearly said I've been Shrewboy three and three, and that's not how I end videos at all. Next time, I anticipate we are going to be covering more extras, including what to do with those gym tickets. So see you then. Thank <laughs> you.